because obviously our first reaction should be substitution, right? Because it's a quotient, there's not anything that we can do to simplify it algebraically until today. Um, if we did use substitution, typically we let the denominator be our u. If we took the derivative of that, that's not going to give us the numerator. If we let the numerator be u, we take the derivative of that, it's not the denominator. So we're kind of stuck. But we can simplify this problem using long division. I know you hate it in pre-calc, and you're probably still going to hate it, but you know what? Life will go on. The reality is you may have to use this on one problem on the exam, so I'm going to show it to you. If you get it, great. If you remember it, awesome. You're going to get that problem right. If not, it's one problem, okay? Just being right. Yes, I'm going to go very slow. So it's like three calculations? Well, no, it's we're going to use long division from pre-calculus, and then we're going to take our answer and integrate. But the reason why we did, or are you talking about synthetic division instead of long division? Yes, that only works when it's divided by a linear factor. This one's quadratic, so you can't do synthetic. Okay, so the whole purpose of this, you'll, you'll see the purpose once we do it, okay? So, um, remember, you put this on the outside. I put a 0x in there, and I didn't really give myself enough room, um, just to hold the place so that everything kind of stays neat and organized. Okay, so, well, that's a division sign. Square root has a sharp point. Yeah. That has a curve. Okay. Yeah, go back to elementary school, the little dog house. Remember doing that? Yeah. Okay. So, we take this term under the dividend sign. Okay? That's the grown-up term for it. Uh, and we divide it by the first term of the divisor. Okay, x squared divided by x squared is 1. Since that is a constant, it goes over the constant term at the end. Okay, this is not going to be very complicated long division, guys, I promise. Yeah. Not, not well, y'all quit psyching yourselves out over stuff and just let it come as it comes, okay? Okay. Let it go. Uh, Multiply. 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times 0x is 0x. 1 times 1 is 1. Now, I think about half of you subtract, and I think the other half of you change the signs and add. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. All right? So x squared minus x squared is 0. x minus 0x, you still have an x. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So x is our remainder. Now, I kind of let you get away with this in pre-calc, but really what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to write the remainder over the divisor. So what we have done is we have taken this problem, if we were asked to integrate this with respect to x, we cannot do it by any methods we've done so far, so we did long division to rewrite that expression so that we can now integrate, okay? Because we can do this now. We can take the integral of 1 and we can take the integral of x over x squared because now we can do u substitution on that part. Okay. Now it's a very simple u substitution. Okay, so all we did was we used long division to rewrite that rational expression so that it's easier to integrate. All right, so the integral of 1 is x. Now, for this other part, we've got to do some u substitution. Let the denominator be your u. So du over dx is equal to 2x 
I have an x in the problem. I do not have a 2, so I need to move the 1 half. And I move the dx to be with the x. So we have 1 half times the integral of 1 over u du. You can wait if you really want to, but I just went ahead and dealt with that part so I could focus on the more complicated part. All right, we learned yesterday that the antiderivative of 1 over u is the natural log of u. And I'm going to go ahead and plug it in in this case. Uh, x squared plus 1 can never be negative, so I don't have to have the absolute value. And that's the answer. to integrate x cubed minus 6x minus 20 over x plus 5. Again, our first instinct should be to think do substitution, but it's not going to work. The derivative of the denominator is not the numerator. The derivative of the numerator is not the denominator. So we're stuck. The only thing we can do is rewrite that expression using long division and then we can proceed with the integration. So we are going to divide x plus 5 into x cubed. It's missing the x squared. So I'm going to put a placeholder in there. Minus 6x minus 20. So x cubed divided by x is x squared. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 5 is 5x five squared. When we subtract, 0 minus 5 is negative 5x squared. Bring down your other terms. Now, we didn't have to go past the first step last time. Forget what's right under the line now. We're, well, the only polynomial we're concerned about is what's been talked about. It's negative 5x squared minus 6x minus 20. So we divide negative 5x squared by x and put the results on top. So that gives us negative 5x. We multiply that by x plus 5. Negative 5x squared minus 25x. Subtract. We've got negative 6 minus a negative 25, so that's adding 25. So 25 minus 6 is 19. Divide 19x by x, so that leaves us with 19. Multiply uh, 19x plus. Is that 95? Oh, yeah. 20 times 5 is 100. That would have been easier. Okay. Uh, subtract. So that gives us negative 115 as our remainder. Negative 20 minus 95 is negative 115 as our remainder. So when we rewrite this expression, it is equivalent to. Now it looks a little weird, but it is equivalent to x squared minus 5x plus 19 
minus 115 over x plus 5. I just stick it on the end. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Then this is going to be a multiple choice question. Um, no, guys, the reason why this works is because it's if you were to uh, put these two back together with this trinomial back with this rational expression, you would have to have a common denominator. So you'd have to multiply x squared minus 5, x plus 19 by x plus 5. Multiply all that out and subtract 115, you're going to get x squared minus 6, x minus 20. Okay, that, that's all we've done is we have broken it down into pieces that are easier to integrate. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to integrate x squared minus 5x plus 19 minus 115 over x plus 5. So the first part right there is just uh, power rule. Okay, That's just a polynomial. We'll integrate using the power rule. No big deal. Okay. The second part is going to require the u substitution. So when we integrate x squared, we get x cubed over 3 minus 5x squared over 2, bless you, plus 19x. Now here, you can put the negative in front of the integral, okay, or you can save it for, for later, or you can include it, whatever, okay, it's up to you. A uh, little bit of u substitution, u is x plus 5, so du over dx is 1. I'm going to move that 115, okay, because it wasn't part of my u. I'm going to go ahead and move that. So when we substitute, it's 1 over u, dx gets replaced with d. So our final answer here is x cubed over 3 minus 5x squared over 2 plus 19x minus 115 natural log of x plus 5 is negative sometimes. So put the absolute value bars plus c. So it's not really that bad, right? We're going to survive. <laughs>